I will do this problem to prove this important result that we will be using on other problems where we will use Stirling's approximation to show that the multiplicity of an Einstein solid when we are dealing with uh, uh, large values of n and q is approximately this. Okay, and uh, the way I will start out uh, I will just do a couple of replacements uh, I know that um, n minus 1 factorial so first of all the multiplicity of an Einstein solid with large number of oscillators is defined by the following formula and oscillators in Q energy units equals uh, again I did a recording making sense of this you can watch that And those couple of replacements are as follows. Uh, we know that uh, n factorial over n, uh, this is nothing but 1 times 2 times 3 all the way to n, passing by n minus 1, of course. And in the denominator, there's an n. I can cross out the n's, and I would get all the numbers multiplied up to n minus 1, which is nothing but n minus 1 factorial. With the same exact logic, q plus n factorial over q plus n. This will cross out the q plus n term, and I will get all the terms up to the, uh, the q plus n minus 1 term which would be q plus n minus 1 factorial okay and uh, I will plug those in above in the red equation in the multiplicity and when I do that I will get so I'm replacing q plus n minus 1 factorial with q plus n factorial over q plus n divided by let me put the equal sign here q factorial and I am replacing n minus 1 factorial with n factorial over n And so this will become q plus n factorial times n divided by q factorial n factorial times q plus n. Now here I will engage Stirling's approximation. that says n factorial is n to the n this equation is in your book uh, equation I'll tell you which one uh, 214 n to the n e to the minus n square root 2 pi n And I will use this to simplify all the factorial expressions in the 
uh, multiplicity in the green equation that I wrote last and so if I apply this on uh, q plus n factorial let's just do it on the side and then plug it in this would be q plus n so in this case n is q plus n so whatever there's an n on the right hand side I could replace it with q plus n Similarly for Q factorial, where now N is Q, so whatever there is an N, in the right hand side I replace it with Q. And I will take these approx or these yeah, these approximations and I will plug them into the green equation. So let's go back to green. Well the multiplicity now will be So q plus n factorial became this. And at the end here I have an n. And in the denominator q factorial became this. n factorial is already there, the rule. <laughs> Times q plus n. Okay, now we just have to put uh, terms together to get to the final result. Um, The final result, notice that the first expression is q plus n over q to the q. So uh, this guy here, I could split it up into q plus n to the q times q plus n to the n. And since I have a Q in the denominator, I could group this Q underneath this. Oh, let me do that the second step. Okay, I'm going to split up the E. So the E will become E to the minus Q times e to the minus n because that minus sign distributes and here I have e minus q so I can cross out these couple guys here right and then I have uh, the square root so here I have uh, 2 pi Q plus N and here we have 2 pi Q and 
and here I have n to the n e to the minus n quite a bit of terms here uh, now uh, why don't I cross out so I don't have to rewrite another 2 pi I could cross out this 2 pi with this 2 pi it's all multiplication so that's allowed uh, so that's gone so all I have left is the square root n here and at the end I have n over q plus n Uh, anything else here? And so since I crossed out the 2 pi, these two guys can go away. Okay, uh, e to the minus n can go away with e to the minus n. So now let me regroup. Let me take a different color. So I'll put these two together. This wasn't very tidy, huh? So I'm going to put these two together. So this is q plus n over q all raised to the q. This is the first term you're supposed to get. In your final answer and then I will group these two terms together they're both raised to the n and this is the second term you're supposed to get in your expression and then over Uh, so here I have square root q plus n. Use a different color on this. And q plus n. So this will become square root q plus n in the denominator. So these two green ones become q plus n square root. And then I have, uh, and then similarly on these two guys, except I have square root n on top. And 2 pi q square root. Okay, now uh, let me bring this. Uh, n square root n to the denominator so I can arrive at I should have left it there but it doesn't matter uh, so I'm gonna bring it down here I could do that and put it under the same square root so so our final expression should look like q plus n over n actually I'll do one more step and this is all square root And then there's a 2 pi q, which I could merge under the same square root. You know what? Let's just do that rather than doing another step. So we can finish the question. So this is multiplication. So all I have to do is extend the square root. This is your denominator and then the couple terms left in the numerator and that should do it. And this should be the final result that we are trying to arrive at. That does it. Uh, fairly straightforward algebra.